My name is Claire. I'm Tyler. Today we're going to talk about advanced haptics API, including when to use, what to use, and how to use. So you want to add haptic effects for your app, and you found these two constants. Class, haptic feedback constants and vibration effect. But you may still have questions like, so what's the difference between these two, or what should I use for my app? We are here to answer your question. First, if you're working on very specific UI element with specific input event, such as keyboard for typing or a button for clicking, then haptic feedback constants is a good place to start. Assuming that you're working on button, then it comes with a click event. Then just remember one thing. The reason that you want to have haptic feedback for click event is, in general, to simulate the behavior of the physical heart button which mostly come with a pairwise interaction model of pressing and releasing. Just remember the pairwise interaction of press and release and go find your haptic constants. For example, for keyboard, you can find keyboard press and keyboard release effect. For any other clickable element, you can also find another pair, such as virtual key and virtual key release. Then what about gesture? Haptic for gesture is usually happening like do while fashion. While I apply my gesture, I want to feel haptic. We call these types of effect as haptic texture. Haptic texture is recommended to be subtle yet crisp because it has to be repeated very quickly. So think about the clock app. Along the clock UI, you want to apply gesture your set to set time. And then you want to deliver haptic texture to represent the virtual tick mark under your finger. Similarly, when you drag the blue text handler and the text view left and right, when the selected area is changing by letter or word, you want to deliver haptic texture to represent the change. To support these types of interaction, we predefined constants called clock tick and text handle move. So now, assuming that you know which constants to use, in this case, virtual key and virtual key release, then the next step is to call those constants by perform haptic feedback and you're good to go. Uh, <clears throat> now there's another API, the uh, Vibration Effect API, and that's through the Vibrator service. Um, and this API you want to use when you care more about like the strength of the haptic happening um, rather than more the semantic meaning or like the gesture involved with it. Um, the other advantage to this API is you can use it without a view. So haptic feedback constants require a view. Um, but this you can call on a background service, um, you know, in case you're trying to notify the user without a UI. Um, so the basic um, starting haptic we have is effect click. This is kind of a medium strength haptic. It's very crisp, um, nice feeling on, on uh, modern devices. So um, we recommend you use that. If you want a lighter uh, haptic feel, you can use effect tick. Um, and for a stronger, uh, more intense haptic, you can use effect heavy click. Uh, there's also effect uh, double click, which is just two clicks one after another. Um, and using this is pretty easy. You just call vibration effect dot create pre baked, and then you pass it the constant of the effect you want to use. Um, there's also a way that you can define your own custom waveform, um, and this is to if you want to create your own like custom haptic, which is pretty cool. Um, so f in this example, um, we have basically a waveform that looks, you see this image down here, that's kind of what we're trying to make. Um, but basically you pass uh, this function create waveform, uh, an array of timings and array of amplitudes. Um, so we're going to start out with a full strength vibration, which is the uh, amplitude of 255, uh, for 100 milliseconds. And then we're going to pause for 200 milliseconds, that's the amplitude of zero. And then we're going to do a half strength vibration for 300 milliseconds. Uh, so you can see that in these arrays, uh, and you get what's down in the corner there. Uh, if you want to feel these for yourself on a new Pixel 4, come find us uh, upstairs in the afternoon. Uh, we have a demo app. You can try out all the constants and make your own waveforms. And if you have any questions or future requests for future haptics, please come talk to us as well. Thank you.